Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Muslim Farmville. This day we are extremely excited. It's the last day of Ramadan for us here in Wisconsin. And tomorrow is Eid, which you are seeing this video. You already had your Eid. We all had our Eid. And uh, this is how we started celebrating our Eid, getting ready the day before, even though we are fasting. Those who are not Muslim, welcome to our channel. And... Um, we have been fasting the month of Ramadan and we have Eid celebration. And those who are not aware of what Eid is about, it's an Islamic holiday which we fast uh, the month of Ramadan and it is the end of Ramadan. As Muslims, we fast from sunrise to sunset and Ramadan has come to an end which Ramadan is a special month to all Muslims because we um, increase our worship supplications asking for forgiveness gratitude charity and good deeds so we have two Eids also this Eid is right after Ramadan and it's called it will fitter and it's time for to a feast or festival like breaking the fast for us so we gather together as a community and we pray together and um, have some snacks together and let the children play and children will get little gifts and stuff even though this year we are not really planning as we used to because of what's happening in Gaza and the world. Our hearts have been heavy. So this Eid, it's not the same for all of us as Muslims. Normally we go all out and celebrate for Eid. But this year everybody has been quite sad, praying a lot, and it just doesn't make us go all out you know what i mean when you are hurting it's hard to um, to really enjoy so we continue to pray and our khutbah will be about that praying for our sisters and our brothers and pray together and have some tea and a little bit of something together our community so this day we also as a farmers here i go I'll get the wheelbarrow to help out the guys. My husband and the boys are outside and trying to uh, clean everything that we can, which we never end up really doing everything we can in one day because there's always something to do. So my husband and the boys, a while back, they were able to take the trailer and clean out all around the masjid area and collect all these little sticks and logs so this has been sitting in our land and today was the day my husband and i and the children have been talking about since the masjid's clean and this <laughs> has been sitting in our land let's clean it and put it by the fire this is a good way that us farmers can get rid of extra logs extra sticks because it just doesn't end um, especially when fall comes right now we are the beginning of spring it's kind of clean in the area so that is what's happening after our maple syrup season was done we put all this together so we have one area to uh, just burn all the sticks and leaves this is the area that we used um, cooking the maple syrup. And my husband is looking at me. Why did one of the children just dropped here all the logs and sticks 
and left. <laughs> That's what children do. So after we build our dog fence, we have extra wood as well. So we're using this piece <laughs> for us to sit around the fire. So this day, we kept at it, getting just all these logs. And we are thinking about, since we don't have to go for Taraweeh prayer every night, the month of Ramadan, after we broke our fast, we would go ahead, break our fast, eat together. And about nine o'clock, we would go to the masjid, the whole family, and we would pray with the community until maybe a few hours until midnight or 11. So tonight, since it's today, it's the last day of fasting for us. Tonight, Taraweeh will not be happening. So as a family, we just want to break our fast, something very small. We decided to eat one of the children made. It will be making this night homemade pizza. And that's really what we plan to just have. We had some leftovers chicken and our oldest daughter, Sabrina, is visiting. So she made barbecue chicken uh, pizza. We had leftovers cheese and and she bought some cheese too and just she made that for us so we were able to put some time here my husband and I and the boys and uh, so this is what we accomplished because in a farm life Ramadan or no Ramadan it doesn't matter you have to still put the work in but we took turns especially the boys really helped out even though they were fasting this day and things are falling, we are picking up, we are cleaning after, and this is how farmers function, just to clean what we can, and spring is almost here. We have been having rain weather, snow weather still, and alhamdulillah, it's all coming together, and our next focus, since the maple syrup is done, is to put the bees together, for honey and we already gathered some honey from last year we need to clean that one day and put it together and also putting together the garden sometime soon so these are the last all the little pieces were swept from the driveway and just putting everything together and tonight after eating praying maghrib and eating our pizza we want to come outside and do some fire because we really need to get these um, sticks out so the big ones we just line them up here everything looks nice and neat for now and uh, since my daughter is making iftar I decided to come out and while it's a little bit light uh, get the fire going which Zach also will come and help me to uh, get this fire managed and just have a warm evening and I pray those who don't have any any heat, warmth or cold or food, may Allah give it to them and may Allah continue blessing us because we are so grateful for everything that we have. Alhamdulillah wa shukla, may Allah protect all of us and protect everybody. Amin ya Rabbi. So Zach, was able to bring some more papers and that's what we use and get this fire started. We will have some s'mores. Our son-in-law Sabrina's husband when they went to the store and bought some extra cheese for the pizza he was able to pick up some graham crackers and some chocolate and halal marshmallows. As Muslims we eat halal marshmallows or vegan marshmallows because other marshmallows are made of with gelatin and we don't eat khanzir, pig. So Sam was able to remove the Ramadan sign for us. See, we have Ramadan Mubarak and then I have a small piece that says Eid Mubarak. So in the end, I'll share it with you when we go outside and let the family just make something small which is going to be the s'mores so this is very simple for our Eid we are not going all out this year simple our lifestyle here in the farm we like it simple put that tiny eat sign 
that's it. We will clean the eat, the uh, prayer room. As you can see, eat sign is up. It's eat Mubarak. That's it. Now my husband is vacuuming the prayer room. It's clean for us, and let's go outside and enjoy with the family. Ismail, are you setting your marshmallow there? Yeah. Thank you. This is the next day I decided to wear this simple black and white dress. My husband is already dressed up, gathering the children. I want to wish you a beautiful, blessed Eid day to all of you. In Mubarak from our family to yours. This morning we will just go ahead. Everybody is excited in the house to go eat prayer and celebrate with our community. And I will see you next video, inshallah. Have a beautiful, blessed day. And if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Give the videos thumbs up, inshallah. As I put my little belt on, hijab, and simple black and white dress today. As a farmer, I look a bit cleaner. And this is time to celebrate and show gratitude to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, our creator and our community because every Saturday we did get together as a community and brought dish to pass and enjoyed it. So it's time to celebrate now and to sit together and to unwind and be appreciative to one another. So I sit here, wait for my family. It takes some time uh, to gather all the children. So my husband is telling everybody, let's get going, let's get going. So we are not late for the Eid prayer. And our Eid prayer was done by Sabrina's husband. May Allah bless him, Ibrahim. He put a beautiful Eid prayer and the khutbah after the prayer. And it was beautiful, so heart moving. A lot of du'a were done for Gaza. Alhamdulillah wa shukrillah. That's what it's all about praying for one another, inshallah. So, my husband was ready, and we decided to sit. Of course, he loves coffee, brought his cup of coffee. And you know, some of us we need that hot morning coffee alhamdulillah so we're just waiting the children and talking about how beautiful ramadan was and how blessed we were to make it this year we don't know if we will make it next year right but this was a beautiful ramadan even though our hearts were aching alhamdulillah so it's time to go and pray with our community so I'm just going to go ahead and say to you, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak, Eid Mubarak to you and to your families from our home to your house. Salam Alaikum.